Hey everyone, welcome back to another Stone Face Reactions. I'm Theta, one of these is Justin, and the other one is Lessons. And we are back with the penultimate episode of Pluto. And just before recording this, we discussed who was going to talk about what would happen uh, last time. And we all decided that we all knew individual bits, and we were going to go at this together. So, who remembers how the last episode started? Oh. Good oh. times. <laughs> yeah. Oh we're, here's the thing. I think uh, we're all reeling from what happened at the very end of the episode. So it's sometimes yeah. hard yeah. to remember that Gershite went to Persia and was on the trail of clues there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I remember. Uh, he disobeyed orders, first and foremost, went to Persia to investigate uh, the origins of, you know, the of Sahat, which was, or of Pluto, and discovers that it was uh, Sahat, which was a robot, which was a child of Dr. Gen Genji slash, he has an... Uh, Alibaba, I think it's that first name. The second wanna... son that we didn't know existed yeah, until yeah, that so. episode. And we he discuss we basically tells he meets actually with the scientist who lies to him, and that's how he discovers that he's not supposedly a robot because robots are not supposed to lie, right? They can lie. So I think it's it more group. about being able to detect when they're lying. Yeah, well, he detected that he lied. That's how he knows you're a human. Yeah, because robots can't lie. So, so well, yeah. it's not that robots can't lie; it's that they can't detect them. Or something like that. Because you're, I, you know, like the whole question that we had about um, mm -hmm. Uran, 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 how yeah. she can detect emotions and shit from range. I think mm -hmm. it's that sort of thing that's going on is that they can read like the body, uh, the body Language. cycles of humans, and that's how you can tell. I couldn't tell you were a human until you lied, and I could read the lie. Either way, he he lied about not knowing about Pluto and all that. Turning out that he knew exactly what Pluto was because he created him, uh, and it turns out that Pluto was based on his son, robot son, who had gone to the West to study um, biology. I, I don't know specifically the science that it was. It has to do with flowers, botany, and uh, he eventually created the perfect flower, flower that would never wilter. And while he was uh, away, the war in Persia started. And so he returns, he says, I need, I want to join the army, etc. Meets up with his dad, who says, it's too late for us, right? You, we can't win this war. But, if you use this body to take revenge, right, that's what you should do. I think a bit of that might be wrong. I think he went back to join the war because he heard that his dad died. And yeah, then he gets dead, back he and finds, finds out, yeah. He's alive. I believe, I, I believe it was the case that it was the death. And that's why his father shows him the robot body that he had been building, the, the body of Pluto. And says, and, and, and this heart says, wait a minute. I, sen I know what you're sensing, you're, you're, you're feeling. You're feeling hate. And we talked about before how intense emotions, especially intense negative emotions, are what is required to elevate a robot or an AI to true sentience. Or just, I don't, not sentience, sapience. People always confuse the two. Sentience is that you can feel, sapience is self awareness. So when you're talking about you sure? higher level, yes. I think that you have that um, backwards. Sentience no, is a higher thought process, and sapience is what animals are. No, no, no. That's why Homo sapiens are Homo sapiens. That's we are self-aware. I don't know you. I'm Homo sentient. Oh, well, I guess you're a special uh, case, anyway. Yep, people uh, do call uh, me special. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, and basically Han says, oh, you're feeling hate. And so that might be clued in. Um, Geshe learns all of this, and he tracks Pluto, who had taken damage in the last fight. Oh, wait, wait, uh, wait, real it... quick. Sorry, not to interrupt again. I know I'm constantly doing it. He also meets this real adorable little kid selling flowers. We can't gloss over that yeah. fact. It's very important how adorable this fucking kid is. A robot kid. Well, by the way. A, a robot kid who is heavily damaged, is missing part of his face and an arm, 
and his job is to sell flowers. And what's very important is we also meet the same robot in the Netherlands, or well, same uh, you know type of robot. It was the same thing, but it's complete and, you know, has a full face and all that, you know, has a covering and, you know, the helmet and, and the full arms and does the same job, right? So apparently these robots were created to be like uh, little delivery boys, right? And to be yep. cute and all that. Um, but I also brings flashbacks because we also realize that Geishite, we did that in the last episode, he actually killed somebody. But the reason why he killed them wasn't simply because this person which is the brother of the guy who wanted to kill Geshite because he killed his brother and hated robots, right? From, you know, which is an other episode thing, so ongoing storyline, is that he was taking robot children and he kidnapped, the last victim was Geshite's own child. Yep. And he basically tore him apart, basically. We don't know exactly what he was doing with them, but it was you know, horrible. Um, and in his anger... Again, Geshai discovers hatred and anger, uses his very powerful weapon to, well, dismantle this guy with a single shot. Um, we also discovered that while Geshai's body is supposed to be indestructible, it does weaken when he uses a weapon. I guess because the weapon sort of self-generates from his own body, right? These powerful charges. I don't right? know what They're you're kinetic. talking about, but his body weakens when he uses a weapon. Yeah, it, that's one of the things that they say, that every time he uses his weapon, his body becomes weaker. I only remember his only weakness being the same metal he's made from, which is why they keep using a very specific, uh, the same gun that's built into him. That's the only weakness I remember. No, but it's also, they also mentioned the fact that if he uses a weapon multiple times, it actually weakens. Because I think what happens, he can actually mold his arms, so his material might be something that he has to literally pull from his own Wait, body uh, to shoot this weapon. Yeah, I think so. Look, the uh, argument is null in point, but I'll uh, let you get there. Yeah, and uh, so he continues the investigation, and eventually he, you know, his boss is like, "No, get back to what you're told. Get do what you're told. Do what you're told." Right? And he eventually gets into a shouting match with his boss, is saying, "Either you let me, either either you, I, you know, I quit, or you put me on leave." And they're like, "No, you yeah. can't do this." It's like, yeah, I know that you erased my memories because you invested so much money on me, right? Which Put to the question of whether ro robots are individuals, right? With all these laws and all that, they're still treating Kashite as an instrument, right? As something yep. that belongs to Europol and not an individual, right? And that's why they erased the memories in order so that he wouldn't have this conflict. I believe it's also the episode where, no, it's the episode before that we discussed the 9 billion, you know. I have um, two episodes back. Yeah, that's about it's two episodes. It's a 10 discussion with the guy who created... Oh, God, his name starts in E. The guy uh, who flies. Epsilon. Uh, Epsilon. Epsilon, yeah. With Epsilon's creator um, in the building that next episode after that one, he then gets almost abducted by... What's his name's guys? Guys hacking everybody. Yeah, the co cockroach guy? Well, Cockroach guy works the same guy. I'm yeah, Gen Genji, I think it is. Um, it is. He has two names, basically. He has a sort of a, a name post-war that he's using as a cover, but his name it was originally the, you know... The, the guy the... who looks, like, if I said he looks like an 80s business guy, you'd like, whatever mm -hmm. image you got, that's him. Yeah, yeah that's him. Oh, um, and, um, well, I was in my train of thought. Um, it's important because he actually meets with Epsilon during the funeral of Epsilon's creator, right? Correct. And he seems to say, oh, hey, and essentially show him, and he actually cries. I don't know if he's fake crying or not, but he cries when he realizes Epsilon chose not to be in the war. And then not only that, Epsilon chose to raise orphans from the war. Um, it uh, comes across as like real crying because he basically gives him respect and implies that he feels bad if about ha having to go after Epsilon. Well, I didn't think that he was going after Epsilon because Epsilon didn't take after his place. creator. Yeah, because yeah. his creator was part of that. Uh, oh, what's his name? Starts with the Bora, Bora Bora Commission. Yeah, he was part of the Bora Commission, but Epsilon himself didn't do anything and in fact helped the people. 
of Persia after uh, the fact. Yeah. I mean, because just yeah. taking orphans didn't save Bruno, so. Um, but I don't know if Bruno's children were also orphans. Well, I suppose they were, because but not yeah. war orphans. Well, I'm just saying that having having kids did not save any other robot. But I think yeah. it's more that Epsilon but, didn't take part in the war and then tried to help after the fact. But one of the things that does happen is that, when well, this was mentioned before in a previous episode, one of the kids was in severe shock. Basically, he's suffering from prolonged PTSD. And he sees this scientist and he keeps saying, Bora, Bora, Bora. After the scientist leaves, and it's like, oh, you know, you must be having an episode, right? Because Epsilon doesn't make the connection. But we're supposed to have some kind of connection because when when we saw this kid first, he was having a vision of a very gigantic machine, you know, who had destroyed this village and the, and the kid was the only survivor. Something and just, he used uh, the word Bora. Something just occurs to me. How long has it been since the war? Do we have any idea? Um, maybe a couple of years? I guess if it's just been a couple of years. For some reason, I get the sense of time that it's been, like, a lot of time. Like, they're rebuilding yeah, the country, they've built yeah. this whole prison complex, and it's like, yeah, it's I like, mean, if he was a little kid back then, and he's still a little kid right now. Yeah, it hasn't been. I mean, building a prison, a prison complex doesn't actually take that I, long to build. I think the prison it, was resource. built pre-war. Yeah, probably pre-war. I don't know. The fact that the United States of Thracia were there and yeah. running it, I kind of just assumed it got pro after the war because it seems like the whole fucking country was devastated to the point of just I'm, being I'm, ruined. I mean, they're still talking about rebuilding the capital and all that, so you know that the the, the the reconstruction is going slowly because they don't have the advanced robotics that they would have otherwise to to do. Oh, yes, fair thing. enough. It's just all those flashbacks that they give us in sepia tones makes me feel like it's been such a long time. It's like, wait a second. How is this kid still a kid? Yeah, I think that kid probably is no more a year or two, so he was like four or five when it happened, right? Kind of stunted his ability to talk as well. He might not be more than seven or eight right now at most, right? I'd agree with not that. He, he, he's not a preteen. He is still a kid. Somebody would call a kid, right? So anywhere between the age of five and eight or nine at most. But anyway, Geshire is saying, you know, I'm going to quit. I'm going to do my own thing. Uh, and he's putting things together, and he seems to be in a kind of mood that he maybe he's thinking about committing suicide, right? But then the kid from Persia shows up, and he adopts him, him, and he have a live it after ever. You know, it's a, no, it's a happy shows story. Up, show, shows up with the uh, the rocket launcher that can actually do hurt uh, Geshait, and at that moment, Geshait remembers his own son and what happened, and. That puts him in a vulnerable position, and the kid basically shoots him in the chest. And the last image we have is Geshite, or his body, pierced by the weapon on the ground. I wish I had thought of doing it, but I was going to screenshot that scene with his the hole ripped through in the middle of him, mm -hmm. cut out the hole, and put it on my, the overlay here because I'm my character in the overlay that we were on is basically I'm Geshite. Just, you know, in the suit like that. So it's like, oh, I could cut the hole out and put a suit right there in my chest. I uh, didn't think to do it, though. There was a hole. Now we just have to Also, technically, that's not the last scene of the show episode, though. What is the last scene of the episode? Uh, Grishite's wife takes that uh, vacation to Japan that they had been oh, talking yeah, about. Oh, yeah, the whole time. thing, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then yeah. they uh, they go around, and she pretends to be happy, but then Tenma comes around and says, you don't have to pretend, and he does his mind fuckery on her. I know, it seems like a happy scene, like, oh, she's letting out and everything like that. No, no, this son of a bitch, he wants people to suffer so that they can evolve or some shit. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm putting my well, own spin on it, but I hate this guy so much. <laughs> well, he does t tells her... Uh... That you can that also humans when they're in the situation they cry. Oh yeah, and she it's says, "What? Well, fake it yeah. till you make it." Yeah, fake it till you make it. And she's like, "Well, I don't know if I can." It's like, "Well, if you start now, eventually you will feel it, right?" Which m matches something that was a conversation between Adam and Geshite in the second episode, where they're eating food and eating normal food, 
uh, instead of the energy drinks things that robots use, you know, to power themselves. And uh, he's like, oh, you know, hey, why are you eating that? Oh, you seem to enjoy it. Yeah, well, I'm doing it because it's what humans do, and I'm doing it until I make it. You well, know, basically. Technically, make it. he has a question, do you really want that toy? And he's, uh -huh. his answer is basically, yeah, I, I want that toy. So mm -hmm. it's not so much a fake it moment anymore. Although he goes to the bathroom yeah. and fucking cries too, so yeah. So, but that was a whole we were having like debates about was that because of the information he got from Gershite? Because he goes, "Oh, Gershite," and starts crying, as though all the information dump that he had gotten actually made him feel where Gershite was not advanced enough to be able to feel this. So, how many robots are left? Because Epsilon is Two. one of them. Epsilon and, and no. uh, well, I guess we think Astro Boy is dead. Here's the He's problem. Yo, yeah, here's the my problem is that this is a basically an entire rewrite of everything I know, so my information no longer applies. Astro Boy never went comatose in the one that I watched, so he could. Yeah. I think my supposition was this episode we would deal with Astro Boy coming back, and the next episode would be conclusion. So yeah, because the mystery is gone, the... we solved it. Because what happened with Gashad was that Gashad actually fights. Uh, with Pluto, who had been damaged, and Pluto basically buries himself. And Gashite confronts Pluto about who he really is, being Sarah. So, 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 that's the name of the, the, the... It's like, this is who you are, and you're not supposed to be, you know, your hatred and all that comes from your father, not you. And so we're left with... Well, we're left with the police going there to secure the body of Pluto, we don't know if they actually did. They actually manage to secure it, or oh, they yeah, just, I don't just think he was there when they showed no. up. No, they don't. They were not there. Uh, but because he was in an underground facility under the testing area, the, the, the experimental area for the flowers, for the tulips, right? Because it was a, a scientific research area. Mm. Uh, so he was under there. So that was the place where he would go when he got damaged between the fights. So that's interesting because it's not until he fights uh, Hercules. That we really think that he's really damaged. But before that, it's like, oh, I got a piece of him, whatever. But he seemed to just, you know, be able to fight these battles very effectively. I don't and know. Gen Hercules also, not Hercules. Uh, sorry, I would say Bruno. Bruno said, I beat him. So sometimes we get unreliable narration when it comes to these, yeah. these two battle bots that we got. And he also fought number number two was? Uh, who, who was a living weapon, right? Who just had all these missiles. Oh, wait, wait. It was actually. Hercules did hurt him. Remember, we saw him ripped yeah. off one of his um, horn things. Antenna, yeah. And Pluto couldn't destroy Geshite because Geshite's body was made of the special metal. So, you know. I mean, we don't know because they didn't actually no, no, go at it. No, no. He tried. No, well, he We saw him fought. like whip at him with like tentacle shit that was in the area. Yeah, but remember that that very tentacle blew up. Uh, Hercules' body, the secondary yeah. body, when he was grabbing, it's like he just poked him and he just blew up. And he couldn't do that too. He tried to do that to Gashite, but it didn't work. I'm and Gashite says, You know, you couldn't do that because my body's made out of this and therefore you can't hurt me. I'm just saying, we didn't see like a prolonged anime style fight. We don't really know because at some point Pluto just backs the fuck off. Well, so, he couldn't just because he, because he couldn't destroy them. He didn't That's try he like himself. burying Gashite in the whole place like he was. He didn't. He didn't do a lot of the typical anime fight scene shit. So I'm just saying, he didn't put us all in. Oh, 100% he didn't. But I think it was also a case where he, he was dealing with damaged. confusion. Mm -hmm. Damaged and dealing with confusion. Not just hatred. And the fact that probably Gishai did have the weapon that could definitely destroy him in that, in that situation. So Did he? Sorry, I'm, yeah, I'm just uh, yeah. sometimes wondering what he Gershite is actually equipped with. Like, uh, well, he has has a, he, basically his weapon, his arms can transform into weapons like normal guns and stunners. You know, and, he's Mega Man. I made that joke in episode two. And just, then he can, he can make that that special weapon that does basically it's a it's a connected uh, kinetic penetrator, it's an anti tank weapon basically. Well, it's just it's a Zeronium. It's shot. a Zeronium missile. It's what he's made of. Yeah. And the only thing that can hurt him. It's just yeah, so, I don't know if he. You're saying he makes that. I don't know if he makes that or has one on him. Like, does he no, have to be hand, armed with it? No, no, I'm saying his, the missile. His hand changes. Yep. The missile no, itself. He, we, literally, we literally see the missile come out of the gun. Yeah, no, gun. no, I'm saying the inside of his body, he could have it loaded up. Like, 
a bomber. He could be like loaded up with a set number of armament. I'm saying I don't think he makes it out of himself. Otherwise, Grishite is constantly getting smaller every time he use, turns his body into Zeronian missiles. I don't think, I think he's like... They say, they, they say that he gets weaker because he does it. Yeah. Again, it's a null point argument now. <laughs> this is not going to be any payoff to continuing it. Two different interpretations, that's all. Comments can tell me if I'm wrong or not. They will. Don't worry about it. At least that we're covering areas that you haven't covered before. So they're like, oh, we're seeing the same same thing again. Like, no, we're in a new episode, so yeah. there you go. I mean, that's the benefit. This show doesn't do a whole hell of a lot of flashback. Which, me and Justin just had a conversation about earlier. <laughs> Indeed. There's a limited amount of payoff you can get to constantly fashion back to the same stuff. Although I think we're going to get a, a lot of flashbacks now because... You know, putting everything together, it seems to be this is the episode, and then final episode would be, no. you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming, I'm assuming, I'm guessing that this is going to be our, to lean into Lessons and I stuff, this is going to be our phantasms, if I was going to guess. Yeah. Which is to say, dream sequence, the mind of Astro Boy, that kind of stuff, because I'm assuming Astro Boy has to come back. It's literally... Like, I don't know where the Astro Boy series ends, but I do know in the Japanese release, it goes on past this. And I'm sure there enough, it seems like there's enough characters that they could, but I guess the meta in me now is just trying to think, I don't think they would go like a hundred more episodes without Astro Boy in the show called Astro Boy. Yeah, sorry about that. Well, I mean, anything else to add before we actually get into this? No. No, nothing else. All right, then. Well, I guess without much further ado, let's go ahead and get on into it. But before we get started, make sure that you hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, comment down below to feed that algorithm. On top of all that, if you want to watch more shows like this, unfiltered, uncensored, and uncut, as well as some early access stuff, you can check it out over on the Patreon. It's just $5 a month, but hey, no pressure. There's zero pressure in order to do that. It's just a little bit of extra support, and it would be greatly appreciated. <laughs> I do like that guitar riff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. the guitar riff is classic. And with the it's weird very... anti-antithetical, like... It's very 90s. I feel. I don't know about that. I mean, more of a hard rock to the 90s, right? Like, um, or 70s, if you're talking about prog rock. and uh, rock Yeah, there. it could be that, too. I don't know, remember the original Astro Boy animes from the 60s? Get your psychedelic guitar out. Luto. Luto! Oh. All nine billion of them, huh? I guess you guessed right. Whoa. That's a Karen right there. We saved programming space by not giving them clothes. It's true. Well, that was short. Well, you remember, um... This is also the flashback scene we got way back, and he's uh, talking about uh, 9 billion personalities couldn't select one. Tenma was talking about it, so literally. Oh yeah, because this is the other room. Well, we saw this exact scene without Tenma and him in the room. But this is what Tenma was talking about. Oh, that's messed up. So Tenden always knew who he was and who was the enemy. Oh yeah, he's a fucking he's asshole. A, he's a lion son of a bitch, that's what he is. Oh, well, he will after I torture him for a long time to make sure he gets a personality. Oh, 
ゲジヒトの奥さんヘレナですあああなたにも会ってもらいたかったアトムのことを気にかけていましたよ私ら科学者は技術成果にばかり目がいって自分でも嫌になるが彼女の心優しさは研究の価値があるまるでアトムに迫るほどでしたご主人の魂お預かりしますおお、we didn't see that part no the scene just after 大幕認証を行います。どうぞお入りください。おお、no、I have a suspicion about all this。まずは目覚めてからの話だ。That this is always Tenma's plan. That he's going to plug in Gersite's last negative thoughts into Adam. Uh, into Adam, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, when they did foreshadow this, that's with, where the devil、um, comment came from. Well, they also foreshadowed this with Adam crying in the bathroom after having those that little soul plugged into him before. So we know he's already got negative emotions for Adam. お前を生き返らせるためなら私は悪魔にもなるよ。You asshole, you killed me! It's my character in this show. ゲジヒトの造語。ゲジヒトは死んでいくとき。Yeah, it felt like the, he gave up his. Well, I read it as him giving up his hatred. Apparently, it became intensified, according to Epsilon. I mean. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. That's a nice house. Also, yeah, it's、uh, Tony Stark's. I'm going to be able to do it. よろしくあなたの身辺警護に伺いましたゲジヒト刑事が殺され次の標的はあなただと言われていますとは言ってもあなたは私など比べ物にならないほど強いしかしこの長雨です格子エネルギーのあなたにとってはセーフハウスまで同行します They're weakening up 子供たちが I guess Pluto does have brain control. Also, we know Mr. Hogan here is eminently hackable. However, we don't think he's after Epsilon, though. I think he's going to be sad about it, but I think he's still going to go after Epsilon. Yeah. Oh, we don't have the rights for the song. Happy birthday, dear Oh, he pretends to be shocked. That's a lot of kids. Early Epsilon doesn't get dental. Or give his kids an allowance. The sun. A World War II anti ship mine. Just what I always wanted.
Okay, they're 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 tugging at our strings, our strings so hard. This is gonna be horrible. Yeah, I know you show. I know you already. You goddamn writers. You've hurt me too many times before. You're gonna do it again. That's the kit. Oh, Bora. This kid should not be at a birthday party. I think he needs to be at a therapist's office. So who destroyed the village wasn't the army, it was when he emerged. Could be worse. They're a bunch of kids. Yeah. アーノルドおお、これはこれはエプシロン。実はちょっと聞きたいことが。オッケー。トラキアの誇る気象予報ロボット yeah. That's why Epsilon is going to die. Because he's figuring it out. あ。あ。it's not impossible to analyze, you just have to zoom and enhance. <laughs> yes. I guess on Hogan's defense, he did say, can you make it short? Okay, he was trying to get him out of there before he started investigating. You know, leaning into the doesn't want this to happen thing. Oh, he knows it's going to happen. I mean, his eyes look a lot like the big bads. Mm -hmm. Who can barely tell is human, so I don't know what that says about him. Oi, what's that? I don't know, for a second I thought he was in a simulation, like we saw in episode 3. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's... お前が兵役拒否したエプシロンか。ロボットのくせに華奢な体してやがる。道理で臆病なわけだ。戦後処理ぐらいはしてもらわないとな。ほら、これがお前の仕事だ。これは全部溶かしてもらう。お前の構成
なんてことだペルシアはロボットの権利が認められた国だと聞いていたのに抜かれた人工知能はどこにさあなとにかくさっさと済ましてくれ我々が待機次第連絡する I can see there's got to be some sort of small comfort in knowing what you consider to be a soul can be removed from the bodies. Oh, wow, he's gonna nuke the whole area, basically. This is a flashback. Yes, yes, it is a flashback. I mean, kids got PTSD today, let alone back then. Why? Trying to hide evidence? I guess. There's no reason this would be a rush job. Damn. Yeah, he is that powerful when he's fully charged up, I suppose. Which is much of an asshole now as he did back then. Clearly. しかもここはセーフハウスというより要塞だただ残り一体となった貴重な高性能ロボットだ何かあっては世界の損失だからなもはや知っていると思うが破壊されたゲジヒト刑事の捜査データによると敵の名はプルートお頭脳部分にはサハドというロボットの人工知能が組み込まれているふん<笑>さすがだなボラーとは何ですかん私が処理したロボットの屍あれとボラーの関係は関係そもそもボラー調査団とは何だったんですかあのロボットの墓場を発見した調査団のメンバーが次々と殺されているんですよ隠し事をしている場合じゃないあなただって危ないんだプルートは恐ろしい力を持っているでもそれが進化した先にもっと強力な何かがそれこそ地球を食べちゃいますよねなんだそりゃあの子が歌っていた歌ですねほら今も歌っていますあ,あ聞こえる Are they here? No, they're probably they're talking, you know, in their home and they're singing it, and some other robot is probably picking it up. Yeah.
That's how you traumatize the kid. At least they don't get it. Out of malice. Yeah, they don't get the fact that he's. Oh. that's how he's trying to, to get his. Why? Well, my first thought percent. was assuming that they were just singing at him, like a ha ha yeah. sort of thing. But I was doing the same thing we did to Astro Boy, attacking the thing you love. Yep. Same way we got Astro Boy. Yup. Oh man, this guy is a coward, that's for damn sure. What, Epsilon? Yeah, they better have said that. No, not Epsilon. I'm joking. Everyone's called Epsilon a coward like, just since we met him. You really should have brought your kids here, if you think about it. Never mind. They were all bad moves. There's no winning move. It's a Joshua maneuver. What are both looking? Yeah, they're trying to. They're trying. No, they're trying to force him to fight, basically. Yeah. Again, that's why I said it's the uh, Astro Boy move all over again. It's the same way they got Astro Boy to come out of hiding. Oh. I don't know. Well, I think well, I'm just convenient. I think I'm just more <laughs> impressed at the destructive power of the beam than I am the fact it made two horns. A satellite? Bora. Bora to one nondes. I guess also, pointedly, they don't have anybody else to... Uh, Pinocchio. How convenient. Yeah. Because that's the whole thing behind Astro Boy. He's, you know, a former Pinocchio. The boy when in the picture described rain, fire, and what? Glaciers. Ice. Glaciers, ice. The world will end in fire, or it will end in ice. The ice doesn't help with satellite, but I think... Um, Bora could be a satellite. You got, uh, yeah. Sorry, I was thinking how many steps away from Captain Planet we were. Those kids would be getting shredded. I don't know. Seems like he has adequate enough control. The wind isn't actually blowing in here that hard. I'm more commenting on the glass windows. So that's what I'm saying, if the wind was blowing hard enough in here, the glass would be flying around the room still, not just sitting on the ground. Yeah. And 
damn it, kid, you went blind. To see his adopted father being blown to bits is just. Well, we don't know. Really... Yeah, no, it's just him doing exploding. We don't not like, like being destroyed, exploding, just exploding, exploding. Same way he destroyed the robot bodies in the city. Now he's gone. He got such a Oh, those are not two sons. No. Those are eyes. Oh, well, maybe. Well, I remember number two glowed for a bit before he was actually dead, so. No telling. I hope he... I'm assuming it's just like a weather no. control device that was in the middle of that and not actually Pluto. Vasily. Oh no, don't do this to us. Yeah, we're only halfway through and... Okay. Rest in peace, Epsilon. I mean, it seemed pretty fine there. <laughs> what do you mean? He's Pinocchio. He's Pinocchio. どこまで行っても Tenma. Tem, tem, yeah, tem, literally is... Tenma. Tenma, yeah. Tenma. We yeah, both got Tenma. the same thought at the same time that Tenma is the ultimate puppeteer. Yeah. Although, Son of a bitch. Yeah. Thankfully, I started off hating him, so it's no big reveal for me. <laughs> <laughs> so, in that case, is he trying to make Astro Boy a better version of Pluto? He wants to prove that he can make the actually true. Robot, right? He may be trying to correct a mistake he made in the past, but I doubt it. Astro Boy might kill Epsilon. Oh. Oh no, yeah, Epsilon is still gonna die. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Simon, we better do what he says. Epsilon? <laughs> Also, even if he destroyed one version of Pluto, we know that Pluto can jump body, so... Like I said, I think it was just a, like a weather control drone or something. Yeah, I 
ではあっちはどうなんだなぜ将軍を守れなかったんだね政府ハウスに配備された一個中隊が一瞬にして消されたんだ The general was there to protect me あれは別の別の兵器による攻撃です別の兵器 Also, can we all agree that General was jackass? Yes. Epsilon no Yongo sets Shuheni Sanlan Stata Bushindes. Osaku, Persia say robot to no Sawambu. Can't you Kai Hats robot? Not a drone. Environmental development, but converted to the military. Sorry, my walk. Meets Katimasen. Epsilon. Kimino Heva Shugi, a Yoku Shiraru Tokorodanga. Mata Kunkaimo. テカゲンを加えたなどということはないだろうね。何度戦っても彼は私の敵ではありません。そう言ったお話はエプシロンが戻ってから。だから今日来たのです。え、ご存知でしょう、グリフィスさん。政権がこの施設をどう言っているのか
And I opened up for half a second, and that's all it takes for someone to stab you in the chest. Kidnapping. Oh, and it's dark in there, though, as well. Be our guy from four episodes back. Oh, that's Tenma. Liar. Nope, I guess we Well, you can't keep saying Epsilon's gonna die. I don't think this guy's surviving the end of the episode. ここまでしてやったんだ。今度こそ The devil himself. Oh, fixed his horn, the pacifist is has now chosen to act. I don't know. I think a gun would be more of a visual reminder of that. Well, because he doesn't need a gun. Right, he doesn't need armor either, because the photonic thing is also a shield. I just mean that a gun is more of a reminder that I'm going to act, because armor is just a reminder that I can take a hit. I guess I'm just glad to see that Hogan didn't get uh, hacked. It must be winter in Oslo because it's all West Night. Well, it's also Australia to uh, uh, Europe, so. Yeah. The son disobeying the father. Chiwenihamukalnuko. Yeah, but he knows his real name. He's remember his real name. He's remembering. 
Oh, this guy has a stealth ability? Interesting. That or the flying vessel does. Yeah, it's we, probably the vessel. I was say, we literally didn't see the vessel following behind him, which is pretty good stealth. If you just don't animate it. I think anybody who's a walking nuke probably has a big old reserve of power. We finally see him in his full form. Yeah. I'll say it's a funny thing. Just in the really old version, they were not shy about showing Pluto at all. So I've always known what he looks like. Hatred. Oh, here comes the sun. Too late. Too bad that robot couldn't kill Abdullah. He's like, just shoot him in the head. He's like, oh, by the way, yeah, thanks for kidnapping the kid. Boom. That would have been a hell of a cliffhanger if this <laughs> ended right there. <laughs> Help me, what the fuck? So I think what's kind of Temna puppeteered Abdullah, Abdullah is puppeteering Pluto. Ultimately, so that Astro Boy could become the ultimate <laughs> robot. <laughs> Yeah, what would their relationship be? My brother's divorced father? Sort of thing? Yeah? Yeah? でも とっても大きな悲しみが。二つ。朝日だ。君の勝った。なぜ、なぜあの時とどめを刺さなかった。なぜ僕を殺さなかった。君が君が走っていた波長が。
the idea of Gishite going down the path of one, uh, of questioning his life is, was leading to this. There is no original body. There has to be. Flower Lady worked with him all that time. He's coming? Or... Or is he in the robot with a different uh, intelligence too? That's not just him. He's sacrificing yeah, no. his own he, energy to save him, but hand. it is sunlight, though, so he should be still being constantly powered. Yeah, but, okay, so that means that Bora is a different entity, or mm -hmm. is Bora a different personality? That's what I was saying. A different intelligence I think, inside. I, I, I think it's a satellite. Mm hmm. I think the, the visual that the kids saw was it launching. I don't know, there's too much in the kid's song for me to parse out. Oh, he was gonna die. Yeah, そうか。ただの Astro Boy. Adam. What I was saying before is it's a shame there's no one left to be connected to the AI network that we saw early on with all the other robots, but I guess he's still in the network. あとは覚醒の時を待つだけだ。それが今。なんだこの脳は。なんだこの数値は。一体何が起きたというんだ。Something you couldn't predict. お兄ちゃんが目を開ける直前に何かが降ってきたの。何かとは何だ。
Oh. Oh, I have an idea. Remember I say where all the all the the chips went? That's why they wanted to destroy the bodies. That's where they went. All those robots have been destroyed in the war. Bora is all of them. Yeah. That doesn't answer anything for me, though. But I'm going to hold questions back until after the time. <laughs> Just hoping there's some control left, or you guys are gonna die in there. <laughs> That's how he became the villain of My Hero Academia. Dareka. It's a joke for a very specific crowd. Dareka. Cool. Let's traumatize the trauma kid a little bit more. Yeah. こんなことを言われるのは本意ではないでしょう。あなたは徴兵拒否をした卑怯者なんかじゃない。あなたは勇敢な戦士でした。悲しみが降りてきた。か。ほら、君は本を読むのが好きだ。君はただ単に詩的な表現が上手なだけだ。他人の感情などわからない。でも、私わかるんだもん。トビオ君のお墓の前で、あなたがどれほど悲しんでいたのかもわかっちゃうんだもん。今、あなたがどんなに悲しく
They want they want the advanced robot to be their robot. I see what you're saying. I mean, I get it. I just and if you destroy the support network of robots, so they're no longer considered to be humans, then they have to obey humans again. I can certainly see where you're going. I just don't. That just, that's not the thing that jumps out at me as being true. I, I just don't have anything that says it's false. That's my thing. I mean, it's a working theory. Yeah, yeah, but... yeah, no, I literally have nothing else. Right, so I've got to go with what you're saying because I've got nothing else. I otherwise have no idea what Bora is. Your chip thing, it at least makes, you know, it uses elements of what was shown in a working theory, so... It also would explain why they were so ready to destroy the evidence, essentially. Like, yeah, it doesn't matter. We took, uh, we took out the... Uh, and the target was the general. He wasn't part of the Bora Commission. Well, I don't know. Epsilon said that he was a target just for having been there. Yeah, but that means that they would have killed... They could have killed thousands of, of robots and soldiers. I mean, we don't you know. know. This is a... This is a targeted assassination campaign, right? Well, I don't know. I don't think, uh, you know, Rod from the Sky is a target. <laughs> you know, it's just... Well, the only three people that were there were Epsilon. They accused the... him of, what, what? in the uh, commission of not saving everyone there. They used the word everyone, which does... Mm -hmm. He said, why didn't you say the general? Everyone there was vaporized, implying that there was mm -hmm. more people there. Well, if the mindset is also that of war times... That that would just be accepted casualties. You'd mm -hmm. assume that maybe he they've killed also all the soldiers that were there then too. Literally anybody that knows. In which case it's not just the Bora Commission, it's literally everyone that knows. Yeah, but that would you know, that would come with tens of thousands of soldiers across the world, which it haven't done yet. Yeah, well I mean maybe it's done off screen. We don't know what what point in the murders we started figuring out this was a serial killer, right? You know, you find out the guy has killed, like, a person, and then you arrest him, and you find out, oh, man, we went into his house, and there's been evidence he's killed, like, 20 people. And then he gets up on stage, and like, you idiots, I've been killing people for the last 10 years. You know? Those people exist. You can look that shit up. It's just... It's true. We might have just entered into this, oh, shit, they've killed all the rank and file, now they're working their way up to the people, you know, in the commission itself. Um... So I don't think it's impossible they've, like, been killing soldiers. Like, that guy, he was just a UN general, right? He wouldn't even thrash you. Yeah, but I get the feeling that he knew what happened to the chips, and that's why they killed him. My thing, I think, is that they, they spent time at the very beginning of the episode indicating that, hey, these chips, they're robot souls, right? We are considering them robot souls. And then we spent time, what happened to the chips? Right? And it's like, okay, well, what is this? Like, a robot carrion crawler? What are we working with here? I don't... It's still... What Bora is is still a mystery to me, and you've got your theory, and like I said, it fits... It fits the given information, but for some okay. reason, it just feels not right to me. Remember that the when we first first, first a kid, we see him underneath the rubble, he sees a shadow... You know, lifting up, and he says Bora, right? Now, of course, he also calls Pluto Bora. He calls Abdullah Bora. So anything that is related to that's Bora, 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 right? It triggers his his you know his um, a, a extreme PTSD. But I and he's not the only one. I think there's another someone else. I think it was actually Epsilon who uh, who saw a shadow as well. So, and then when Epsilon finds him, finds him in that town that had been destroyed. Because it was rubble. Oh, you're talking about the right. uh, the like Google images, the Google Maps thing. Yeah. When he gets the weather guy on the phone, it's like, well, this is like uh, clouds from bombardment, but this shadow here, I don't know what the shadow is. That's where the yeah. time Epsilon sees it. Yeah. And where does Epsilon find the kid? Under the rubble. Right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Looking Bora out. would have been there, but we also yeah. don't know what killed all of those things. It might have been the bombardment. It might have been Bora, but. Bora didn't also destroy the whole fucking city. They used Epsilon to do that. So, And also, why use Epsilon to so thoroughly destroy the city if they only wanted to get rid of 
I mean, they can you just know, be the getting rid of evidence of their overall crimes. Like, they could have committed war crimes here, especially if robots had se uh, sapient rights or whatever. Sapiens, um, yeah. Yeah, uh, well, I just mean if they had rights under, like, um, I don't know where this takes place in the whole first oh, no, well, episode that's of Astro that, Boy that was, versus that, Now. That, that was the thing, that that they supposedly the, the Persians were violating the, the sapient rights of robots by creating, you know, by brutalizing them and also... Oh, no, I meant in reverse. I meant in reverse yeah. that the UN had been committing mm -hmm. war crimes. Like, this was like a a Vietnam movie, and we're seeing the guy who's wearing ears I mean, around his, his neck as a necklace. If the well, UN we, had gotten see, up to some stupid shit here, and they're like, well, get we, rid of the evidence. We see, remember Geshe goes into a house, and there's a man who's, you know, hysterical yeah, because there were the bombing had, had been killed. That's a war crime. If you slaughter kids, that's a war crime. Right, 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 but in this instance, it's against robots. That was a human guy who was like, my kid was asleep in their crib, and you bombed us. That's a yeah. human crime, and this is why are they erasing robot crimes? But it only mm -hmm. matters then if the the robots have human rights, as we thought that they did this whole time. And I... Is it possible that the reason that was erased is connected to the anti-robot league? We don't know when they start. I mean, this is yeah. too... Well, actually, I guess yeah. it would have to be. They would have to be around because they are associated with Adolf. Uh, Adolf and his brother were part of the whole anti-robot league uh, thing um, years ago, and we know the war took place three years ago, we said, right? Yeah. yeah so, yeah, yeah so the anti-robot league had to have existed before the war started. So if that's the case, then could we not be dealing with a cover-up from the anti-robot league to not give the opportunity to have more reason for robots to be considered equal or with more rights. I think the the anti robot league is also a series of puppets to either Thracia or whoever have or Tem not Temna himself because I'm uh, I mean I think he participated in, for his own reasons right I think it's discovered like yeah I knew what was going on but I did it because I wanted you know to create the perfect robot my they, robot they could just so be I a red herring. Yeah, it could be random, or it could be like, yeah, I knew, but I didn't care. You know, I have my own reasons for doing it, so these guys are doing that. Well, whatever, I build the. I can see in Temna. Temna looks like the guy who's like, yeah, I'll, I'll go, I'll build your nuclear. You know, Temna reminds me of what was it? The scientist, the, uh, the the Nazi scientist who helped NASA. Operation Paperclip. Um, no, that's the operation. We're talking about. Uh, well, he came over in uh, Operation Paperclip. I'm just yeah, yeah, to, but he, they his, they wrote a name. there's a famous like jokey song about you know the yeah, rockets go yeah. up, the rockets come down. I don't care. Werner von Braun. There we go. The the von rhyme Brown. helped me remember. Von Braun. He looks like a von Braun figure to me. Right. Oh, sure. I'll work with the Nazis because they'll build robots, and I'll be a member of the party, and I'll use slave labor. I don't care. I get. I get my. I get my rockets. Right. And then the Americans show up. Well, I don't want to end up with the Russians because they're not going to treat me well. So I'll go with the Americans and I'll build them their ballistic missiles for nuclear weapons. And as long as I get my rockets, right? I, I don't know. Ted, as much Ted, that's too smart not to have figured out most of this stuff. As much as I hate him, I kind of see what he's up to. I feel like. Now, like, I don't understand it at all, but, like, when he finds her and, and she's like, I understand your emotions, and he's like, maybe I found a robot that is finally at the level that I need the robot to be at, and he brings her in, and she starts talking about stuff, and then he gets sad when she says, I feel a sadness coming down. He's like, you like to read books, don't you? You're not as intelligent as I thought. You're just fucking poetic. And he walks away. He's, he's constantly looking for the robot to fulfill that that level of evolution. And yeah. that's all I see him yeah. doing in the show. Except for that one moment where it's, he's weirdly trying to save Astro Boy. But, but remember, he helped build Pluto. He was there with Abdullah. He built Pluto and he said, well, it could turn on into a devil. Right? This so I think the bad, devil... Then. No, I, I think the devil comment was talking about possibly Astro Boy coming back. No, 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 no. Because he had, because he had. No, he was he. No, yeah, no, but he was with Abdullah, and the body that they were working on somewhere else. Remember, he said, "Oh, yeah, this guy hired me to make a robot body. That's what I use all the photonic energy and everything else as a technology. That's what you know." He ordered me. He he 
He made me a body, and that he, he talks about the nine million souls. So he did the same thing to that robot than he did to uh to Adam, right? So he tested it first on that guy, and that body was much bigger, much longer than um Well I think he, he did it on Astro Adam. Adam first, and then he used it on this guy. This guy would have been the second one. Because this guy was made uh, at the end or uh, during, yeah. or during the Persian War, or at the end of the Persian War, yeah. Astro Boy yeah. has been around. Adam has been around longer than that, so Adam would have existed no, before this guy. No, so no, I'm not saying existed. I'm saying the idea of bringing a robot back. From... What he's saying, the devil comment that I caught was to get Adam out of and being unconscious. Yeah, but he said it while he was talking to Abdullah. So one hundred percent. So he was like, "Yeah, don't don't lift the you know don't don't make the the, the face reveal because of course that would spoil." So it's like, ah, um, yeah, don't. He could be anything. He's you know his face is changing because he's going through the process of absorbing all the information. We don't know what it's going to look like. So I guess that also there. implies that Abdullah is fully aware that uh, Adam is trying to be brought back. He's fucking in the room, so. No, I, I think he just believes Adam is dead because he's like, oh, yeah, just kill Epsilon and we'll be well, done. Well, at the very beginning and, of the episode, he was in the room that they're talking about. Well, don't reveal his face. No but, that, no, but that wasn't Adam. That's what I'm saying. That wasn't Adam. That was the robot that Temna Here built. Here is the problem. Abdullah. Here's the problem there is that I was literally saying that with you when the scene was happening. That That's the flashback to those, that very same room that we got yeah. before. It looks exactly like the room that Adam is in. It's the exact yeah, same the, fucking layout okay. and everything. It's like they must have built. Form, they must have built Pluto. Function. They must have built Pluto in the same fucking place, or he replicated his entire lab in some foreign I area. Mean, it, it, it's a uh, you know form follows function, right? If you're gonna build this kind of situation, you're gonna need the same technology. Therefore, it's probably gonna look the same. It's not know? gonna look exactly the same though, and that's what I'm saying. These two things look exactly the same. Again, I think you're doing the thing where you extrapolate. You know, I'm not literally. Forward. I'm not because we see the same place twice. It's literally in this episode. I'm not extrapolating. I understand when I do that. This is literally that we saw Abdullah and Tenma in the room at the beginning of the episode, uh, and it looks like a flashback. And then we uh, see Tenma and Urin in the same looking room. Like everything looks exactly the same. Yeah, but one room could be in Tokyo. Where Tenma is at, uh, taking care of, uh, uh, well, trying to revive. Yeah, they're Adam. in the science and this center, one, the main science and center this, for everything. And this, this could have been in, in Persia because if it had been in the science center, why doesn't the science center have records of this robot that was built for this other client? To be fair, either they, we were already worked in this, uh, not this episode, this series about erasing memories and erasing records, so. Like, yeah, I think like the just, whole think Darius it, it, uh, erased his uh, records at the prison. We had to mm-hmm. get somebody else's records from that from the the agency. They erased Gishite's memories. Like I'm not working with the why are there no records? We've gotten too many of why are there no records of things. I think simply just I, it's much okay. Ogham's racer. It's much easier to replicate something that you need, and it looks similar to the, what you already have. That's it. It's easier to build a thing in a place where you already built one thing. Ockham's razor does not work for everything or anything, really, if you come down to it. If I have a factory that but builds no. super intelligent robots, it's easier to build another robot in the factory that already builds them. Yeah, but if I don't have control of the factory... We, d- no we know when Tenma retired. We also know Tenma has the ability to just walk through this place through every security gate. So... Mm-hmm. Tenma? No, Abdullah. No, no, Tenma at the uh Tenma is walking through security clearances because he's the former commissioner of the uh, the safety uh yeah. safety security uh Yeah, but he science gets registered. commission. That's what I'm saying. I'm... In fact in fact he gets stopped and goes like, Oh no, you can't come in here. It's like, no, I used to be I used to be here. It's like, yeah, well you don't not anymore. Yeah, he's cleared. We see him. No, walk... he wasn't. He we... was no no, no he we wasn't. See him this he, episode. he got yeah, because he has been cleared by the current one. But there was a scene where he Temna comes in and a guard, a go, go robot guy is like, "Yeah, you can't come in." It's like, "Oh, I used to be we, the uh, the boss here," and then the current boss, which is U- Una, uh, the girl's, uh, uh, you know, Astro Boy's sister, Builder, yeah. goes to him and goes like, "Oh, go, he's fine. He used to work to here." Fair, I don't that remember that guy's name either. That's why I keep referring yeah. to him. It, 
vague terms. Yeah, so Look, yeah, I'm not a hundred percent. I'm not a hundred percent on anything. I'm not arguing with you for the sake of this is my theory and I'm sticking to it. I'm just trying to put pieces mm-hmm. together. I'm like, you've got like the ends of the puzzle figured out, and I started from the middle. I feel like. I mean, I could be wrong, but I think ultimately it goes back to the reasons of the war was fought, right? The real reasons, because it goes back to Bora, the Bora Commission. Essentially, it was a big lie. You know, this is this is an analog to the the night the two thousand and two invasion of Iraq. Basically, that's what it is. So you know, the 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 Bora Commission is the same thing as the UN Commission that went to try to find weapons of mass destruction. That they went to find robots of mass destruction. So. And the end of the day, I think a commentary is, A, the United States of Thracia lied about this and figured out exactly why they lied about it. And I think Bora is what they created out of it. So you're saying that robot souls are actually oil? In a way, yes. All right. Well, it's been a lot of you and me here. Justin, do you think Bora is still a satellite? Um... No. I do not. Okay. Either way. Well, you never... Sorry, point wrong. You never did. Justin (laughs) is the one who said three times this episode that he thought Bor was a satellite. To be fair, though, at the very end, we saw a giant shape going through the... You know, through the ground. So I obviously did not think you still thought Bor was a satellite there. I'm just trying to give you an in to give your theories out before we end, uh, end today. I appreciate yeah. it, but uh, no. Anything I would have said was being uh, was being stated with me just enjoying the show. Okay. <laughs> All right. Any final thoughts before we before we end? Either of you? No. Again, this this goddamn anime is getting hitting me in the feels. It always does that. And second, I'm waiting. I, I want to see the last episode because this episode it's gonna be everything is mind blowing. But I think it's indeed. Yeah. All it right. would be very hard for them to disappoint me, so hopefully they won't. I don't know. The last episode's usually where it happens. <laughs> anyway, I'm hoping they don't. I hope that they land it. They've been doing great so far. Anyway, now that I put that evil out there. Uh, once again, we've been Stoneface Reactions. Thank you for joining us. I've been Theta. One of these has been Justin. And the other one's been Lessons. And we will catch you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Hey everybody, thanks for watching another Stoneface Reactions. If you have an idea of another video we could go ahead and watch, go ahead and put it in the comments down below and we'll add it to the wheel. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know what you thought about this video and what parts you liked. And until then, we'll see you next time. Is this too goofy?